beautiful people welcome back to my channel today we're going grocery shopping so i'm so excited to show you guys what i eat if you are a college student or a student in general i'm going to be showing you guys how to go grocery shopping on a budget i am also a division one athlete so i'm going to be showing you guys what i eat pretty much on a weekly basis what i'm buying to fuel my body to make sure i'm in the best shape possible so let's get started to film yourself with quarantine stuff. Very difficult trying to record during quarantine, so I'm gonna end up showing you guys everything I bought after like this. up now I think I just need granola granola's left Ooh, don't look don't look <laughs> granola and I'm out of here I've been trying to do a lot more research on the foods that I'm putting into my body and so how I've been doing that is looking at the nutrition labels when I go grocery shopping and so if it's a long list of foods I normally don't get it actually very difficult to videotape at the grocery store because of quarantine and the coronavirus going on around the United States. I filmed very little in the store just out of respect of everyone else's safety and health and environment so I'm going to just be showing you guys a lot more of what I bought. Okay, now that I am in home, I've laid out all my groceries. I'm going to be going over with you guys all the stuff that I bought and yes, let's get started. So first, of course, my favorite is some baby spinach organic. Um, this goes great in salads, in smoothies, and with a lot of, you can also cook this on the stove as spinach. A couple more vegetables that are good for mixed veggies, or if you ever wanna do like a stir fry, peppers are really great for stuffed peppers, which my mom loves to make all of the time. Um, of course, we have tomatoes, which I put in pretty much everything that I eat, salads. Um, you can also do green tomatoes. My mom gave me this idea for breakfast. Um, another way to add some veggies in in the morning. For fruit, we have some peaches, blueberries, which go really good in like a yogurt parfait. 
A key tip for picking out strawberries is finding some that are super red and then also if they smell like strawberries, as weird as that sounds, but the more like strawberries that they smell normally, the sweeter the taste, or well, the redder they are, the sweeter the taste. And if they smell like strawberries, that means they're super fresh and ready. And then I also got some bananas that I can be eating on for the next couple of days and a delicious mango, which is also just another great fruit to have for like snacks or in the morning. Then of course, also we have this for if you ever just need a fast meal, you can throw some frozen vegetables on the stove, which go great. Um, I think I already showed you guys the cucumber and zucchini. Then of course we have some old fashioned oats which are great as a morning um, with honey and some added fruit. And then for snacks, I love skinny popcorn. I love popcorn and skinny pop is super low on calories and you can have like three cups and it's only like 100 calories. Um, I just tried out this granola, which I'm really excited about because I figured out over the weekend that this yogurt parfait I was eating was super high in sugar and calories and so what made me get this is that there's only eight grams of sugar which for granola that is super low so we're gonna try this out and see how it goes and then with my yogurt parfaits i also do this almond milk yogurt alternative since i can't do dairy so i will keep you guys updated on how this tastes and then we also have some almond butter. This is a new flavor that I'm trying. So I like to try new things when I go to the grocery store. So this is one of the things that I'm trying to add. Of course, my unhealthy Ben and Jerry's. So good though. I love this flavor. It's not the best, but gotta have something. Um, we also have some avocados, which you guys know I love using in salads and then also for breakfast in the morning with eggs and tomatoes, green onion, red onion, which is also great. Um, for protein, I got some salmon. I think it's sweet Thai chili as a flavor, so I won't even have to season it that much. We got some ground turkey, which if you guys watched my last video, you'll see I use ground turkey a lot. As another snack, I did veggie chips, kale chips, so I'm excited for these. This is a different brand than what I normally get, so again, trying, trying to do different things for butter. I use, I can't believe it's not butter. Usually I get the olive oil, but we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Of course, my flavored water. I love these just because when you drink water so much, you just, you need something that tastes a little bit different. I also got this water from the store. Yes, we got this for my squash that I'm gonna be making, for the spaghetti, where I'm gonna be making ground turkey meatballs. Of course, my almond milk, because again, I can't do dairy. Um, just a little green tea for the morning. I don't really do coffee, so I do hot tea or like a pure leaf tea. Um, these also can be high in sugar sometimes, so you have to be careful about how much of these you're drinking. See that 25 grams? Don't let it fool you now, because it's cute. And then for some grains, these are fabulous. Absolutely fabulous in the morning. I didn't have to buy everything new because of course some stuff already had, but so yes, there's my groceries. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this vlog so far. I thought I would end it with some of my top tips and tricks for how to go to the grocery store and spend the least amount of money as possible and a lot of the things I utilize every time I go to the grocery store. Number one, don't go hungry. You know that saying our parents would always say, your eyes are bigger than your stomach. That is true. They were not lying to us as kids. So make sure you eat a snack, grab a piece of fruit, do something, but do not go to the grocery store when you are hungry because you are so much more likely to eat 
things while you're there and spend a lot more money than you normally would. And so an added tip on top of that is to make a list. I don't know if you guys saw this list earlier in the video, but I write down every single thing that I need before I go. I stick to this list. I don't leave from it. I don't wander from it. And on top of wandering and straying, another key tip is to make sure you guys stay on the outer perimeter of the grocery store. I know that sounds very weird, but a lot of the healthier unprocessed foods are going to be on the outer edges. They get you with marketing tactics. I'm a marketing major at Michigan State University. So I know a lot of the stuff from a business aspect. They want you to get caught into the store. They want to try. That's why they also put a lot of the most important products like eggs and bread, the things that you really want far back so that you have to go through the grocery store to get the products that you need. Don't fall for those smart business tactics, okay? Stay on the outer perimeter, make a list, grab what you need, and go. On top of that, my last tip for you guys is is to make sure you plan your meals. I'm not a meal prep person. I do plan my meals ahead of time. So for this week, I know what I'm eating. That's how I make my grocery list. And then lastly, do not be afraid to buy store brand products. I don't know if you guys saw, I shopped today at Market District Giant Eagle. So a lot of the foods on it will either have Market District or Giant Eagle because it is a cheaper than having a non-store brand or generic type food. So there are some of my tips for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And lastly, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to Claire Abdallah, Kyla Morrow, Jessica Frenchick, and her husband, Chuck Frenchick. You guys did an amazing job with the one mile a month challenge. If you guys haven't seen my video, please go check it out and continue sending me your pictures and your results. Guys, that inspires me so much more than you know. I'm so proud of you guys. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out because my results were insane. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Love you. Grocery shopping, grocery shopping, grocery shopping, grocery shopping. Favorite day of the week because I love food.